Keeping bees is a lot safer if you know what you're doing. And it's a lot more profitable if you know what the bees are doing. Which is why the Rothamsted Experimental Station in Hertfordshire has developed some cunning experiments to find out. Covering the doorstep of a hive with fluorescent powder is one way of checking on the bees' foraging habits. Say you want to know which colonies of bees favour which types of flower. You use different coloured powders for the different hives. Then when you meet a bee foraging round the clover, you'll be able to identify him by the old school colours. Because once that powder's in place, he can't leave home without his makeup. What makes a bee sting? Is it the smell of an animal? In this experiment, balls of cotton wool have been left with a bowl for several hours to acquire its smell. They are hung on sticks together with ones which don't smell, but which look exactly the same. The next stage is to persuade the bees to attack. And it's the cotton wool with the animal smell which makes the bees angriest, which you can prove by counting the stings. But bees can't only smell, they can see too, and distinguish certain colours. Does that have any effect on their stinging? The same technique with the cotton wool ball should give us the answer to that one, and it gives some surprising results. For example, contrast as well as colour comes into it. Black balls are attacked whatever the colour of the board behind them. They make the bees so cross they couldn't care less about the contrast. But if you mix white and yellow balls, they'll attack the white balls if the board is yellow and the yellow balls if the board is white. There must be a moral somewhere. Honeybees play an important part in pollinating many fruit and seed crops, which is another reason for studying their foraging habits. You can learn a lot by finding out what pollen a particular bee's been collecting on his rounds. You drug him first to save having to explain to him what you're doing. Next, you take one of his pollen sacs and put it in a numbered capsule for the pollen to be identified under a microscope later. You may catch the same bee again, so to make sure you'll recognize him, you paint his abdomen. When he wakes up, he won't even notice. But next time you come across him, you'll be able to find out if he's changed his habits. <laughs>